Hi, everyone. I'm not looking in the right spot. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I don't know why I even look there. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. My name is Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name? Mm -hmm. Say it. Mm -hmm. Well, you should have known not to take a drink at that moment. My name's Edmund, and he's Edmund. annoying as f And welcome back to the Emma's Eyes podcast. If Hi. I have bags under my eyes today, it's because I'm a little sleepy. You want to know why? You should know why. If you don't know why, it's because mm -hmm. you missed out. Mm -hmm. And that's a you problem. Last night, we did our first spicy live on OnlyFans. Yeah, we did our first OnlyFans live. And when we say spicy, we made spicy margaritas. But that's not why it was spicy. That's not why it was spicy. Bro. Mm -hmm. I got glazed. Did you ever like think donut? in your life that you would get glazed like a donut I was just telling him. live in front of p people to see? Ooh. No, I didn't. I didn't. Isn't I was telling him yesterday, awesome? like it's crazy how life goes. Like sometimes you think that you got like a plan and something's gonna go some certain way, and then later down in life, it's just not even. Not only is it not what you expect it to be, but is it's it not even not what anywhere. You it to be? Okay. Yeah. No, you're right though. It's just not even <laughs> like never in your mind were you like, one day I'm gonna get nutted on, mm -hmm. <laughs> and people are mm. gonna live for it, and people are gonna pay for it, yes. and like be in and do it, it at the same time. That yeah. was so cute and wholesome. Like we had a communal, so like we had a communal, like orgasm moment. Eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like literally the whole life was like, oh my god, so such a slay. Like we all did it together at the same time. It was a dead. It, 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 it was a. It was a digital circle jerk for sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got off live and he's like, "Did we just circle jerk?" <laughs> Somebody in the comments, bless him. He was like, "Not the comments stopped because we all just beaten off right now." I'm like, "Yeah, I love that." Ah, so enjoy yourself, guys. We really bonded. Sorry if you have kids listening. Um, That's a you problem. You should have known by any other episode we've ever had that kids should not be listening to this. Maybe not. Yeah. That's a you problem, not mm -hmm. a me problem. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, what a slay. I yeah. got slayed. <clears throat> oh. Mm -hmm. And did. But that's why I look tired, okay? That's um, why I sound like this. I got uh, coffee. I'm not going to show what type of coffee I got because they didn't cut the check. And um, if you think after the intro we just gave, they're ever going to cut the check. And if they it did, they not going to cut it. They not going to get no. We don't do no pre free pro promo. Whoa. Boy, you don't do. Grammarly, please do the promo. Yeah, please. Please. Because that was crazy as hell. What's the first? Let's get into this. We got right, so here we a go. bunch of stuff to get into today. Yeah. Um, We are doing our listener letter at the end stop it this time we are we messed up yes. the last, one. last episode we was just talking too fucking much yes if you want to give us an, a listener letter or send us a listener letter go to the emma's eyes on instagram mm -hmm. and leave us one yep make sure it's not too long because bitch yeah bitch you got two paragraphs max to like uh type you got two minutes max to talk yeah anything past that i might do you like demona be doing people and don't call me white girl podcast <laughs> two minutes hits you just cut them off i don't care what it's what's it do and then my dad yeah no <laughs> anyway so the first thing i wanted to talk about okay let's get into it britney spears and samuel getting a divorce okay but he filed for divorce and then he's literally like extorting her but mm -hmm. publicly i can't tell if he's foreign or like He's just like, and he doesn't understand her. He's just like actually really dumb. Explain the story to people who don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So Britney Spears, she had this man for a long time, Sam. And then he, or sorry, they got engaged, married, the whole deal. And oh, shut up. And then he filed for divorce. And like he signed a prenup that basically said like, bitch, you get nothing. And then he's now fighting the prenup and is like, she needs to renegotiate this prenup or I'm going to, what did he say? air out all of these embarrassing things about her that is literally called extortion are you done that's what i'm saying like that's like that's actually like literal blackmail like boy. i get that he's like, foreign so maybe he doesn't understand or he does understand but he's like worded it wrong but it's also like, I feel like blackmail is legal in most countries yeah no it, <laughs> it, it that's what i'm saying maybe his wording and how he said it was weird i'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying because you can't be that dumb yeah no that was very stupid. like you can't be that that was stupid. very dumb i want her to speak and not the AI version of her that's on her fucking Instagram. Oh, true. Yeah. Because there's conspiracy. <laughs> Sometimes she like posts and like something glitches and it's like not her face all of a sudden. And we're like, oh my God, you think she got cloned? No, I don't think she got cloned. I think someone's pretending to be her on her Instagram. Because you know how sometimes like her Instagram's like hacked and it's like this weird thing. Like every once in a while, it's like, I love my family. Bitch, that's not Bernie Spears. I don't know. I don't be paying attention to Bernie Spears. That's not Britney Spears. <laughs> it's not. You can't tell me Britney Spears was like, death to all of them, and then was like, I love my family. No, that's not her. Yeah, something's weird. Yeah. But every once in a while, so she posts her like dancing videos, you know, where she's like twirling around yeah. with her eyeliner. Them gotta stop for sure. No, let her live with her little bikini tops. Um, 
<laughs> but every once in a while, one like will happen and people will slow it down and it like mm-hmm. glitches and it's like not her face. Like somebody mm-hmm. like AI'd her face over it, but it's not her. Well, that technology, oh, let me try it again. That technology does exist. People do that shit all the time. Like you can, people somebody has a whole, bad. somebody has a whole uh, Instagram account of like fake Tom Cruise where he's just like, no, for real, he's go around doing shit, Is but he, he got like Tom real, Cruise, like, like, like uh, face AI'd, AI'd yeah. onto his face, or not AI'd, I'm trying to say like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, yeah. But he talking to people. He doing interviews. Like, he doing videos. People, but he says, like, fake Tom Cruise. Like, he makes yeah. it known that I'm not Tom Cruise. He did a video with Tom Cruise. No, this is like Tom Britney Cruise. Spears, but it's not Britney Spears. I swear to God, it's not her. Maybe, maybe he doing that I shit. I swear to God. Shit, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Shit. Sam, cut your fucking days, bitch. <laughs> We're coming for you. Mm-hmm. What are the Britney's called? I don't even think she ever had one. Let me tell you what I know about Britney Spears. The womanizers? The only thing I know about... Oh, maybe. Maybe. The only thing I know about Britney Spears is that back in the day, she had that little issue. Then she got out of her... Got out of her... <laughs> little issue. A little problem. Um, then she had got out of her, out of her conservative ship. And then recently, uh, somebody pushed the shit out of her because she was running up. The <gasps> security guard pushed, pushed the shit out of her. Slapped her. Yeah. When she ran up on that basketball player. That's all I know. I don't pay attention to Britney Do we Britney know Spears. if that guy's alive still? Because... <laughs> Yeah, he I is. don't know. He made an apology and all that shit like yeah, that. I bet you did. Slap at Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about my queen. <sighs> okay. Pinky doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Pinky doll. Your, the your NPC god. goddess. Your god. I live for her. Uh-huh. And just, I can't tell if there's like a team behind her mm-hmm. or if she's brilliant. The world's just throwing like good luck at her. Mm-hmm. Because. So, Pinky Doll. If you don't know who that is, honestly, like, I can't help you. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. Ice cream's so good. You know mm. what I'm talking about. She still be doing that shit, too. <laughs> I love her, okay? Because get your fucking money. And she just came out of nowhere. She literally was like, COVID happened. I got online, and I just did this, and it just popped off. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, actually, she said, COVID happened. I got online, and then I just... And now I'm making Pinky Doll Gang. Pinky Doll Gang. I'm screaming. Worldwide, Pinky Doll Gang. Pick it up. NPC somebody, girlies. Somebody espouse me. On the go go. On the go go. <laughs> She's so funny. She's from Montreal. Everyone's like, there's no way people really sound like that. I'm it's like, just no, so can. fucking funny. Everybody is saying, like, everybody from Montreal is like, no, that's how they talk out there. But like, People like me who never been to Montreal don't know yeah. anything about Montreal. I'm like, don't nobody in Canada talk like that. <laughs> no, but it's because she has like a she's like a French, like she has an accent, she speaks French. But I don't hear French. I hear Jocelyn Hernandez. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> it's like if Cardi B and Jocelyn Hernandez just like had like, a baby, went to Montreal, like went yeah. to France for like a week and came back. <laughs> I just don't get French at all. They're like, yeah. no, that's how they talk because of the French language. Like, like, anyway, <laughs> yeah, but so Pinky Doll, she recently went to. The streamies mm-hmm. and looked so good. She did. She looked incredible. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because she didn't have that stupid she took that filter. Fucking filter off. Finally. Yeah, and she's a dark skin girly. Like dark skin. Ooh, she like looks dark skin. So good. She was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And at, like that was like the highlight of the streamies. Everybody was like, "Who? What the hell?" Yeah. And she called what well, you know Kai Sinat. Mm-hmm. What you call him? K. Sini, Sini, or something like that, and he reacted to it. And he was like, "What?" No! <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. Um, but she looked amazing. And then mm-hmm. it, I like thought about it, and I was like, "Hold on, there's like a whole breakdown of this." Okay, mm-hmm. this is why it's like I can't tell if she's just brilliant or if this is just like the how it just worked out. Mm-hmm. Is that she went on there with that stupid light skin filter, mm-hmm. not even light skin, white skin filter? Mm-hmm. Everybody ate it up. Mm-hmm. Would that have happened? If she went on like she looks now. Probably not. And and the thing is, too, like, she doesn't really change her face shape or anything else that much. It's just her skin color. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like the Kardashian effect of, like, well, I have this lighter skin that you can tell is a little bit tanned, mm-hmm. but I still have all my black features. Mm-hmm. So everybody eats it up. Mm-hmm. Which... <laughs> is that a part of the whole thing? Did she know that I'm going to lighten my whole complexion? Mm-hmm be this NPC girl and make all this money and then mm. pop out in my real skin tone and be like, yeah, mm-hmm. bitch. And then everybody loves her more. Like, yeah. I don't know. But then yeah. she goes back on live with the fucking skin color. Tone yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next day she was back to being Caucasian. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, th- I don't know. It could be one of two things. Like the effects of white supremacy affects people differently. So maybe she thought that doing that 
she is, you know what I'm saying? It was going to benefit her. was going to benefit her, which it has. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe she was like a victim to it. Maybe she knew that white supremacy is a thing. And so if I go in here as mm-hmm. a white bitch, then they'll love me the mo- they'll love me more than if I was dark skinned, which may not be like her. Which is why I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I just wish we knew, like, was that what it, like, why did you do that filter? Mm-hmm. Or just like, did, is this just how it happened? And she's just riding the wave. Right. Like, I don't know. In my head, there's got to be some sort of formula because it's just worked out way too well. Mm-hmm. She's also a sex worker, right? Like, yeah, she has so only fans. Maybe she's very much so like Business aware lady. of what the fuck it is I need to do in order to make this money pop yeah. up. So it's like still mm. related, but not related. It's related. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Um, people are mad at her because like what she does is technically fetish content, and she's doing it like on a live for people, and she's like, and now she has kid. Like, she doesn't shut the fuck up, everybody. Now that there's kids doing it who don't know that it's this, it's so harmful. I think shut the fuck up. That ain't got nothing to do with her. What yeah. you talking about? That's all, that was a huge <laughs> argument is that because she's a sex worker and like does all this stuff and like NPC is like fetish content, which I didn't even know. But this was, I was about to say that like no, I didn't. Nobody knew that yeah. until like she got big off of it. There so was like a like, whole thing about how she's like harming people by doing what she's doing because now kids are doing NPC and then men are going in there and making them do all this shit. And I'm like. No, they're not harming kids by doing that because if the people going in watching kids do that to get off are pedophiles. And yeah. a pedophile is going to be a pedophile whether your kids are doing NPC or playing in sand. So it's yeah. like, it don't make a difference. Like, I don't, that's not, nah. I don't yeah, know that. that pissed me off. That's I also stupid. don't like appreciate any Pinky Doll Slander. Like, <laughs> no Pinky Doll Slander will be accepted here. <laughs> None. Because get your fucking money. Yeah. She's the queen. Mm-hmm. And she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I live for her. Yeah. And mm-hmm. stop exposing her on the on the Google. On the Google. Money so good. Mm-hmm. Cha-ching. Mm-hmm. My yeah. favorite part is when she get to cussing out her son. Oh, my God. She'll when she breaks character and just start cussing out her in son French. in French. She'll literally be like, ice cream so good. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love her. She's such a queen. Oh, she's beautiful. Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Him and his little girl, little mm-hmm. girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Are they married? I want you to know. I ha- I don't. Okay. No, I don't I know anything. Married. I don't watch Kanye no more. <laughs> well, not watch like he a show. What about, I don't watch Kanye. It's no kind more. of a show <laughs> because what he was doing was what we were doing on the live, but in public. Show. Yeah, he was Mr. Tripping. West mm-hmm. was in Venice, I believe, mm-hmm. getting his ween got gawked mm-hmm. by his girl mm-hmm. in public. Mm-hmm. His whole boot. Booter Scooter was out sitting on a boat. Venice banned him from ever going on boat rides. Mm -hmm. How do you get banned from ever going on a boat? (laughs) That's another level. (laughs) Like what? Oh, Bianca. I think her name's Bianca. I don't know her name. I I think her name's Bianca. My whole thing, it's like, I feel one of two, uh, what? I feel two things. I feel like it's your third fucking I got there. No, uh, uh, I got there. I feel two things. One hand, I'm like, I'm sure this isn't the first time somebody went to venice on a boat and had sex right yeah but you're kanye West. hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. so like the whole banning him from mm-hmm. venice thing to me kind of just feels like i mean it's just banning fuck? from boat rides because i'm just like huh it's not from venice it's just no yeah but like, like boat rides okay. like to me i'm just like that's like what the like i'm sure it's not the first time somebody went out there and was fucking on the boat and y'all probably didn't ban everybody that was out there fucking on the boat yeah. you know what i'm saying so like that's kind of like whatever at the same time you're the what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Yeah, you're Kanye West. You're Kanye West. <laughs> like it was so in public. It wasn't like ooh, like just do something outside, be a little mm-hmm. freaky. It was literally on a boat ride mm-hmm. in front of all these people in like a stream, not like out in the water. Like, mm-hmm. hello, I just look out my window. I'm like, oh, there's Kanye West getting a blowy. And I know it's Kanye West because you probably sold out shows close to Venice multiple times in your life and you like, also just like look like kanye west and you just are kanye and your like, girlfriend's you're like in some wild outfit you're just like you just are kanye like <laughs> hold on have you seen her outfits like over time like bianca's outfits all i've seen was like she kind of matches him like i just remember one time he was walking around in what i believe to be like a swimsuit and she was in like a uncircumcised dick like yeah. outfit um, i'm just like is he trying to embarrass her? Like, is that his thing? <laughs> because he's always just in, like, this little basic weird outfit. Uh-huh. But she's always in, like, she was walking around in, like, literally, like, latex and a pillow. Mm-hmm. She was holding a pillow. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? I think since Kim, I think Kanye is very much like, if I get a woman, she has to, like, I have to style her. And I think that he getting with these girls that aren't Kim, that, like, I don't want to say need him because I don't know these girls' lives, but like, well, she was who the, was she, she was before? The, the artistic director of Yeezy, right? That's who she is, right? But like, who are you? Yeah, you know what I mean, like, and that's true too because like, <laughs> it'd be one thing if that um Danny, do you know Kim's stylist who was Kanye's? 
The girl who devoted her life to Kim. The Asian girl? No, that's Steph Shop. Um, Danny, she's really beautiful. Um, she's got like long hair like Kim. Long she black posts, hair. Yeah, oh, they like posts. twins, yeah. Yeah, that girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that girl, she was Kanye's like stylist like Kanye got her for Kim. Mm-hmm. So like it'd be different if like Danny was doing it. She's like, that bitch could wear a paper bag and I'd be like, fucking silly. No, but whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's yeah. different. Like th- uh, who, this Bianca girl isn't Kim. But if Kim came out in a fucking pillow, I'd be like, yeah, as you, all these girlies are going to be in the club in pillows now. Yeah. Sleeping bags. Mm-hmm. But like, you're not that, Bianca. Yeah. I live for you. I don't know who you are, to be no, honest. For sure. I'm not hating. I'm just saying, like, I feel like Connie is trying to. No, I'm just saying, like, since, that. like, like, because, like, I feel like Kim had autonomy. Like, if she didn't like an outfit that he said, she would just be like, no, I'm not putting that on, Mr. West. But, like, oh, these other girls don't have that oh, pool. No. So it's like. You gonna say yes to me because I'm Kanye West, yeah. and if not, I'm gonna just go find me another girl that will. Yeah, let me back up. I'm gonna go find me another skinny little white girl to do the, what yeah. I tell her to do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's all he. That's his type. We. No, it's true. That's, that's his type. No. Mm-hmm. It sure yeah. is. <laughs> I think he, I literally think his sole purpose in life now is to just like humiliate her and walk her around town. <laughs> what do you mean you just look, make her look crazy? You dressed up. With, you dressed up with a pillow, and he she, and gave him head in the middle of like. What was that conversation? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think poor Bianca. I, I hope she, I hope so she's crazy. just like putting his money in her bank account. She should. She better be. Yeah, bitch. Don't don't be look. Don't be a dumb hoe. No, <laughs> no. We support hoes, but don't get be a your dumb allowance hoe. and put it in your bank account because yeah. I know it's big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This next one makes me stop. Makes me so angry. Mm-hmm. And I'm very passionate about this topic because, like, I will not. Except pinky doll slander. Mm-hmm. I will not accept sexy red mm-hmm. and Suki slander mm-hmm. ever. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing people say that sexy red and Suki are like ruining music. What has music turned into? Mm-hmm. What is like what a horrible influence? Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of that. Mm-hmm. Because do you know who Trina is? Mm-hmm. Do you know who Lil Kim is? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard any of those males mm-hmm. who made music? males just the males mm-hmm. back in the day and like people were like oh what happened to like 90s r&b was about love making first of all what's that song about like mm-hmm. not needing consent like i'm gonna touch you anyway what was that song what um i don't even need a something i don't know what you're talking yeah, about Yeah, you sang it to me one time that's <laughs> not in that way shut up i can't remember what it was but you were singing some song and you were like hold on wait that's really problematic i know what you're talking about yeah. it's one of the old school songs yeah. um, but it's huge the the one basically about him getting hard yeah and 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 he put rubbing his fucking boner on her. Yeah, I can't remember. How did she fucking? I'm gonna remember but in the middle like, when you talking. But even like, it. um, what's the one? From the windows to the walls, to the walls, to the sweat drops down my balls. Mm-hmm. All these bitches go ski ski. Your moms were singing Yaski ski, motherfucker. I'm screw not Yaski ski. Okay, <laughs> Yaski ski. But then you have a song being like, <laughs> I just ate his ass. He wanna switch, <laughs> and now you have a problem. <laughs> talking about shooting cum from the windows to the walls mm-hmm. you're sick i hate that yeah um blank note to take everything i see i fuck him in the living room while his children ain't home i make him eat it while my period on i'm a nasty hoe red bone but a classy hoe young jazzy hoe that's trina that's trina now when did that come out when did that come out that because- came out in 91 i think no after that. Because, oh, music is ruined. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Here's my thing. You niggas don't keep the same energy that y'all have. And I'm going to get into this a little bit later about a topic that I'm going to bring up later on. But you niggas don't have the same energy for these men that walk around with these crazy ass lyrics that y'all do with these women. Specifically, yeah. black women. And that should be getting on my fucking nerves because y'all be trying so hard to like discredit these people or like make them seem as though that they're not important or whatever the fuck it may be and you niggas gotta excuse me you niggas got that real bad too you you the black men y'all got that terribly with these with sexy reds and the cardi b's and the sukiyanas and all that shit like that we brought up the trina shit because you bitches didn't have that same energy for trina back then your mama and them didn't have that energy back then because they was t- singing this shit and shaking their ass to it in the fucking clubs 
Um, and then Missy Elliott was singing some nasty lyrics. Everybody had nasty radio. lyrics. Everybody had nasty lyrics. And everybody got nasty lyrics. Now, you niggas love Kevin Gates. Oh, wait. But how about Ariana Grande, who literally said, I'm going to need a seatbelt when I ride it. But then I can open like a door's coming. That was all it. over. The, that was all over the radio. But she I literally had a song that. called, and I live for that song, a song called fucking six, what is it, 30, bitch? 69. Yeah, the name was, was so different. fucking song was 30, 69. 35. Yeah, like literally about 69ing and that was on the radio everyone's kids but she sings it so like beautifully and melodically mm-hmm. so people are like mm, uh, ride dick bicycle come on now but it's just black women y'all just don't that's want black problem. women y'all just that's y'all the, hate black women and that's fine y'all can hate them if y'all want to but let me tell y'all something i don't and i'll smack shit out of you dumbass niggas for real it really pisses me off that shit is so fucking dumb like i said kevin gates be around this motherfucker oh, pulling his pu- pu- i know you do he be around here talking kevin about gates. eating pussy on stage he be on there damn near about the nut in his goddamn jeans at every last one of his concerts goddamn trey songs and raped how many women but y'all don't have no smoke about that. But the second she walk around talking about what she gonna do with her pussy, and then I want to get into that fucking Osiris, the oh, dude that Suki? had when he had kissed Suki, and motherfuckers was walking around talking about she brought she, it up on she herself deserved it because and she, she deserved sings it. Music like that? And you be around here rapping about this, that, Ooh, and the motherfucking that pisses third. me off because you rap about guns. So if I shoot you, that's okay. You so if I it? shoot you, then it's fine. Every time one of y'all, every time one of these niggas get shot in the motherfucking chest three times, y'all be RIP in every goddamn world over the fucking internet. But this happened to her because she raps about this or she sings about that and all of a sudden it's cool what are y'all talking about like i don't like assault is assault like shut the fuck up i don't fucking know i don't fucking whatever i just like this topic pisses me off that shit is so fucking dumb because y'all don't it's just, it's just that like y'all don't keep the energy for everybody like yeah. if suki and sexy ray are the problem they can be the problem for you but so does kevin gates have to be that problem yeah. so does all these other rappers be talking about how they eating pussy and flipping this that and the third and doing all this shit to and women they have to music be is like mainstream that, music. Like, a lot of these like, like pop artists uh, hello i kissed a girl and i liked it like there's just all this music that's well, that just... was fucking 2010 but, but like no but i mean like, it's been going on for ever. ever like this is not the problem yeah the problem is if you have a problem with it change the channel i don't know like do you listen to the radio just fucking mm-hmm. change the channel plug in your ipod put the music you like put on your put on your ipod put it on the ipod put it on the ipod people are just annoying yeah i don't know man and you're like... just mad because she's se- sexy and suki are on such a high right now and y'all don't and want thriving and y'all don't y'all don't und- somebody said something on the internet a while back ago that i fucking I, I uh resonated with a lot is that you motherfuckers talk about representation and inclusivity but y'all only care about it when it comes to things that y'all align with yeah so you want black people to have shine and this and the third but you don't want these type of black people to have shine you don't want these type of black women to get a platform you don't want these type of black people mm-hmm. to have importance when really these motherfuckers are just as important to the black community as amanda seals or goddamn uh 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 anybody fucking else out there that you think is a uh, the, the right type of black you know what i'm saying yeah. like hood people deserve a, a, a hood rats i should say hood rats hood babies hood bitches hood niggas all deserve the same sort of like mm-hmm. representation out in public media as the rest of you motherfuckers do too and just because you don't align with it you don't have to but that doesn't mean that you have to stop they shine and and Tell them to get the fuck on somewhere. You sound stupid. I saw a hashtag once Ch- that turn said, the channel. hood bitches matter. <laughs> hood bitches hashtag. matter like a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> And like we had this talk in the car one time and how we're going up to the cottage. We mm. were just like, this is just so stupid because like when it comes to representation, like mm. everybody wants that representation in music, but they don't want them to be like that in real life. It's like, what? So then when a, when a girl like sexy, who's from the hood, who really like is all of those activities like what she's rapping around about probably like, a crip she is as well doing. is she i couldn't tell from she's all probably, the red she's probably a crip i, I wish there was something that would let us know just one uh, <laughs> anything <laughs> can't be her red wig um but is that it it's really like annoying when what's hard is like a lot of these people who were like that mm-hmm. um did end up like changing for mainstream media right mm-hmm. like jt in miami mm-hmm. um are like cleaner now y- like yeah, yeah in like image wise mm-hmm. as far as like media i don't know we don't know what they're like outside of that but i just mm-hmm. mean like in the media mm-hmm. and we're talking about representation in the media not what mm-hmm. they're like in real life but i think some of that too is a personal choice right like 100 and also too like again like you just said a lot of them are like that on tv in the media but when they get off of the yeah. TV screen and go on they fucking Instagram live. Yeah. They be on there acting a goddamn nut. Like, yeah. But like that, again, that's just like what people that they, what they do. That doesn't. And I feel, but I feel like, like it, it don't change just, nothing for nobody else. It shouldn't 
bother people that like sexy is who she is in music and the same in real life like that shouldn't bother people and i hate that it does it shouldn't at all that like when she went to the bet awards and everybody was like this is like sorry i don't like the word but like ghetto like everybody was like this is stupid and the fact that there was another woman in there with orange hair who was the one who said it pisses me off we ain't gonna get into that Mm -hmm. i'm not a fan boring Mm -hmm. but that she was like this bet awards was so ghetto i just hate that because when sexy got up she that song came out Fucking a month before that. B- bitch, Invited to like, the Awards was there. She wasn't nominated for anything. She just went. She had the fucking stacks in her hand. Mm-hmm. And she was up there. And the whole, like, the I whole audience, I guess. The whole arena audience. Yeah. Like, whatever it is. Whatever the fuck. Was singing her song. And that was, like, such a moment for her. And like, then for yeah, that, and I love that for her. For that orange-wigged lady to be like, I don't even know where mm-hmm. it happened to bring class back. Mm-hmm. Just mind your business. Like, why are you I, mad I that, 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 that she's thriving? I fucking hate that shit. And the thing that be gagging me the most, the, the ultimate gag about all of this shit, of, 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 out of everything we just said, the thing that kills me the most is that you motherfuckers be talking about how these women should behave, how sexy red should be like more classy, how people should, shouldn't be ghetto in the third. But the bitches that you think are classy and aren't ghetto be loving these bitches. Yeah. Summer Walker hangs out with these girls all the time. <laughs> I love you know who else hangs and out Summer with Summer? Summer Suki and sexy hang out. Yeah. Bro, it's the funniest shit ever. Summer Walker hangs out with these motherfuckers. She be doing that ghetto shit. Do you want to know who the fuck Summer Walker's doula is? Oh, her grand, her, Eric her Badu? Erica, Erica fucking Badu, Badu yeah. helps her have every baby that she has. Oh, I love that. All 80,000 of her fucking kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Erica Badu, the woman that y'all swear is just one of the like, like goddesses of black women, like the uh, uh, pillar of black womanhood, loves these ghetto bitches and love ghetto shit. Ari Lennox hangs out with fucking Summer Walker all the time. And she, I would say, is like more like classy diva, like Ari. Ari Lennox. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like the people that y'all want them to be like love them, but y'all don't mm-hmm. love them. So how the fuck does that make y'all look? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't know. And the orange wig lady who said that the BT Wars was ghetto was also filming a music video twerking with bands in her hands a week later on the side of New York. Yeah, she don't. On the, on the I street don't, corner. You know what, she, that's a whole nother thing. I don't want to talk about her. I'm done anyway, with her. Next topic. Next topic. <laughs> Erica Mena. Mm-hmm. Fired from Love & Hip Hop. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Love & Hip Hop is a show on VH1. Mona Scott Young is the producer. Mm-hmm. It's who I'm going to be talking about soon. Mm-hmm. Addressing. Mm-hmm. Um, it, this whole episode is just about like <laughs> black women. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hi, welcome to the We Love Black Women podcast. <laughs> uh, we love black women. The most important women on earth. Yeah, it's a show where Love and Hip Hop originally started because it was like rappers and their girlfriends, mm-hmm. or like rappers, women and their boyfriends. So like mm-hmm. Rashida was on it, and then oh, is still, but fucking eighteen years on that show. Yeah. Anyway, so this girl Erica Mena, she's on there, and there's a. Jamaican rapper named Spice. Mm-hmm. Fucking love Spice. Mm-hmm. Erica got in an argument with her. Erica called her a monkey, which for those who don't know, is uh, a very derogatory term that people will call black people. If you don't know, you dumb as hell. Yeah. How do you know that? Okay, to be honest, I didn't know that. But um, until I learned. People were defending Erica, a lot of black people, because I went through the Twitter feed of it, saying sure, like, yeah. well, here's the thing. Like Spice brought up her kids, so all gloves are off. How I feel is, sure, you can do all gloves are off in a lot of different ways. But if you say something racist, like you're still racist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it doesn't mm-hmm, matter like mm-hmm, what happened. So it's mm-hmm. like if, if what would be racist? Like okay, if, like I'm Indian. Okay, for example, uh-huh. and say um, you're black. Well, say you're black. Just pretend. I'm not. I'll pretend. pretend. I'll pretend. Yo, yo, yo. Where's the chicken? <laughs> like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> fuck up. Um, and you called me like, I don't know. um like a sand n-word uh-huh. that's what they call indian people but then i called you the n-word mm-hmm. both are like not nice and does not like mean the other person's not racist yeah like if you say a racist comment like you're racist mm-hmm. i don't think i care about the context mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't care about that so mm-hmm. for those of you defending erica mena for calling her a monkey because she brought up her kids mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. okay <laughs> that's just for you to sit on i don't have anything else to say to you that's just for you to sit on and think back about yeah just okay. like marinating that for a second yeah kind of like usual critical thinking. critical thinking is gone well it's i learned that critical thinking is really not um like given to everybody like that power <laughs> to think critically yeah it's 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 really rare out here in these streets it's it's surprisingly rare i thought i was like I, often i think i'm the dumbest nigga in the room or a location or on a website and then i hear the things that some of you niggas say and i go yeah. 
wow wow it's like when people used to say like oh my god like people didn't know better like they just didn't have internet no mm-hmm. like we're all there there's internet now mm-hmm. you're all like you're just dumb mm-hmm. yeah no it has nothing to do with information you're just stupid that's crazy but we're gonna talk about mona scott mm-hmm. people were praising mona mm-hmm. for firing erica okay i agree fire erica she said a racist comment with her chest multiple times. If you see the video, she's screaming it multiple mm-hmm. times. Okay. My issue is that she fired her months after it happened. Mm-hmm. When the backlash happened. Yes. Yeah. So like now, you- now let's now let's break down some critical thinking now. <laughs> it happened. Okay. In filming, it happened. Oh. You still decided to edit it and air it. Okay. Let it play out. Mm-hmm. And then fire her when the backlash happened. Mm-hmm. Mona, Flamingo shows. Mona's a black woman. Uh-huh. And if that in that moment you knew what happened it was a whole storyline mm-hmm. especially for the coming episodes after so it's mm-hmm. all been edited in and mm-hmm. if you knew that that happened as a black woman and that really you didn't stand by it blah 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 mm-hmm. you would have fired her when it happened but that doesn't make for good tv you want to play it out mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so that's kind of like where i'm upset in it is like so you fired her rightfully so mm-hmm. but like you didn't fire her because you don't agree. You fired her because you, you it's going to look good on you to fire her. Mm-hmm. That's what's like. Mm. This may make me look crazy because I'm having this. I'm talking about this with a non-black person. This is a conversation that very not. It happens. I feel like in the in like black spaces, but I don't think it happens enough in that. There is not a lot of conversation or like um, focus being placed up on these elite black people or black people that are of like some sort of substantial like you know what i'm saying like like rich black people or like, yeah, like black people that have like power and like mm-hmm. shit like that there's not enough conversation about how those people use and abuse and like exploit black people just as much or worse than a lot of these like white places and people well, of the same if a position. white person was producing that that person would have a lot more to answer for it but would it's be like racist. different because yeah, but it's different because like Mona is not white, so what she's producing, people are like, "Well, I can't really say much about that." You, but you can't. I mean, we you can't because you. exploitation is exploitation, yeah. whether it's from a black person or a white person. It's just that y'all let that shit slide because it's a nigga that's putting it on TV. When really, it's just as bad as if a white man would have done it. Yeah, you niggas really ignore a lot of like the effects of elitism once. Like, race isn't a point of discussion in certain situations. And that's always so strange to me. But it's not strange to me because a lot of you niggas think that you're better than other people because y'all got more money. So, whatever. Yeah. I mean, just because this niggas in charge of everything, don't mean everything is cool. Look at Zeus. <laughs> Do you give it a year? Like, VH1, I think, is letting her go as a whole. She'll be, give her a year. She'll be on Zeus. Mm-hmm. Zeus will bring her on. Easy. And they'll, give, they'll give her a show about her life. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Easily. All in all. Anyway, Mona, you knew what you were doing. Yeah. Period. End of the story. Um, I'm done with mine. Oh, well, technically I'm not, but this is going to lead into... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, Your story. Okay, we're back to Sexy Red, because, you know, I love Sexy Red. Mm-hmm. She was on Lil Yachty's podcast, by the way. <laughs> Lil Yachty has a podcast. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, he asked her what the craziest thing that's ever happened to her was. Uh-huh. And he was being, like, in, like, like wild... Party thing. shit. Yeah, yeah, like, even just, like, gang stuff, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Gang affiliation. She says she was raped. Mm-hmm. he's like anything else like he moved on <laughs> yeah and you can tell that she was like she was ready to open up because she's the realest girl she out is, here she is she she's keep so it a, she keep it a buck 50 i never forget when she it's so funny when she had answered that phone call from her uh baby daddy baby daddy, baby daddy in jail that was the funniest shit in the world i said oh she a real ghetto bitch i love her <laughs> both her baby daddies are in the same jail that's fucking crazy that is insanity and she's like yeah free both of them <laughs> We <laughs> both my baby daddies. Um, but yeah, it's like it was a moment where like he'd asked her questions. She was really ready to open up about it. And I actually personally believe that he should have let her. I don't think he's mm-hmm. wrong for not. But we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. I think it would have been such a good moment because none of these stars want to talk about that. A lot of people go through that. Nobody wants to talk about it. She was ready to be like, yeah, like this is what happened. Blah, blah, blah. It's fucking mm-hmm. fucked up and crazy because she's so real. And I actually think that would have been a really like humanizing moment for her. Mm-hmm. Whereas all these people see her as this whatever, whatever, whatever. And people have stupid opinions. Stupid <laughs> opinions. Sorry. I just want to make that clear. Dumb. Stupid. Dumb, stupid. That it would be really actually like a really good moment for her to humanize herself. Maybe like yeah. in people's eyes. Not that that 
that's her job but like no but it would have been good to discuss it yeah but he just like completely dismissed it and moved on Mm -hmm. and a lot of people were like pissed at him for that Mm -hmm. and then a lot of people were like it's his podcast he can do what he wants like he just wanted Mm -hmm. it to be fun and lighthearted. first how do you feel about that what's your opinion yeah i think that's some bullshit and i i like yadi and i think that he should have let her go and i think that he should have dived into it a little bit more Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna explain why once i get to talk about what i'm gonna talk about but go ahead Mm -hmm. Um, I agree. And I think even if like he wanted it to be like a fun, whatever atmosphere, like it's a podcast, shit gets cut out. Like let her talk about it to you even maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is her talking about it. Mm -hmm. And like, just cut it out if you don't want that in it. But I really think that like, if if your guest is trying to open up about something or is willing to open up about something, like you should Mm -hmm. let them. And also that could have been a huge moment for his podcast. Mm -hmm. Just like business side. Like that could have been huge for him. Mm -hmm. That could have gone really well. Yeah. I also, I think that it could have been huge for him, but I also think that it could have been a good, that could have been a really like pivotal moment as far as like culture goes, yeah. because oh. a lot of hood girls get raped and like sexually assaulted and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And people view them as the bottom tier of society. So when you are on the shit end of the stick, people don't really care about what happened to you or what people say to you or mm-hmm. do to you. And so a lot of the times these hood girls that be getting sexually assaulted and the third, they just like put it in the back of their mind and they move on because it just is what it is. Nobody give a fuck anyway. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like they get taught to like just move past that shit and just like let people that's why they be getting like they ask me all the time yeah they think it's a and, part like, of it like, this like is it's what just happened. what it is like this is how this is how i'm supposed to live you know what i'm saying and so for sexy red to be able to go out there and would share her story regardless of how to it a went, man to a man you know what i'm saying to another man who's tapped into like the hood like it's, it's a hood podcast yeah. so for her to be who she is and come out and talk about that could have been really good for girls that's watching her that come from where she come from because they can then learn that what happened to them was not okay and that they should talk about it um i want her to go on drink champs because nori would have let her nori will nori, nori would have let her would bring it up for sure and yeah. everybody would be crying yeah i'd be crying he would have been crying. Justin would be crying. Everybody would have been fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> Justin and Anna's back there like, that's the better thing. Yeah. 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 So like, I was letting it happen to me. <laughs> I know what that feels like. <laughs> that's what Justin cries with her mouth open. I love her. That's also my queen. Yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rican princess. Anyway. Yeah, no, I just feel like that would have been such a good moment. It could have been good. Yeah. But the re... Are you, are you done? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Because I'm about to get into my shit real quick for a second. Oh, yeah, let, me, yeah, yeah. let me get this shit off real quick. Another reason why Yadi not letting her get that shit off pissed me off um, was because of what I'm about to get into next. Okay, so. Trigger warning. Big we should have did that before already because we know I talked about rape. So I guess it's too late to even say trigger warning. But Well, if you weren't warned before, be warned. You're warned now. We're going to talk about sexual assault. We're not going to get too deep into it, though, because I'm not about to say too much. Um, I'm just going to get this off real fast and let that be the end of it. And let me exp- and this be my explanation as to wh- also why I was mad at Yachty for not letting her get this shit off. So, recently, I got some news from a friend of mine that she was sexually assaulted. She also said we could share this. Make that clear. Oh, you're yeah. Just telling she her just telling No, she yeah. told me. I already spoke to her about it. She wanted me to say something about it on this podcast. She said, I asked her if I could say something about it. She said, absolutely, because she wants people to talk about this because motherfuckers don't be saying shit for real. Mm-hmm. And y'all just let black women get assaulted and y'all going about your motherfucking days. So, anyway, she got assaulted. This would have been the second time. The first time, she didn't tell me about it because she she because she knew she saved his life she saved whoever she the man is that. life and she shouldn't have exactly but the second time she told me because it was uh i'm i'm not i don't know the guy but i know who he is i, I don't know his name mm-hmm. but i know who he is because her boyfriend's friend's friend was the guy that did it i remember when she was talking to me about it she was talking about how her boyfriend was like doing an investigation and like deep into it because he's pissed off he's very upset that his friend let this happen to his girlfriend Mm -hmm. he said something to my friend that she said to me that was really real and what i want to talk about right now which is that you niggas Love to be around here talking about I love black women, protect black women, I care about black women, black women, my queen, black women send the motherfucking third. But then when the shit really get to when the shit really hit the fan, not only when it hit the fan, but when it's somebody when it's one of y'all niggas that do 
the, that throws the fan, the shit against the fan, right? When it's like niggas that you know or people that you have access to that does the bullshit, you niggas don't be on that same type of time. You niggas are love, you love to protect your black women and, and, and all that shit like that until it's somebody that you know doing the bullshit. Mm-hmm. And I just want to let y'all know, just clear cut for me, I want this to be very clear so that we already understand where I'm coming from from this point on, right? I love all the, mm. Ooh, there he goes. There he goes. He's the Kanye. That boy's the Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> no, because listen to me, bro. She is like essentially my sister. I don't know. Yeah. I already pouted to her about this shit last weekend. She like, yeah. nigga, I knew you was going to be on this. I said, because bitch, because you already know how I feel about you. But like, yeah. this is essentially my sister. And I'm just going to make this very clear to you niggas that when I say that I love black women, when I say that I care about black women, when I say that black women are bitch hood to me. I want y'all to know that I mean that to the like the the like the, the bottom of my fucking like my pinky toe, nigga. Underneath the pinky toe of the pinky toe, nigga, is where I really mean that shit for real, my nigga. And just because you niggas want to placate and act like y'all care about black women and all that shit like that, just so y'all can sound good and look good on the internet, all that bullshit, do know and understand that it's black women out here that got niggas like me that will really bury you niggas for real. Yeah. I put y'all niggas six feet in the motherfucking dirt for real. And that's why she didn't tell me the first time I know. about that nigga because she knew I was on nigga. I was I was about to call her uncle, her brother, or nigga was about to go kill this nigga for real. You were trying to find out for a long oh, time. Oh no, that nigga, and to this day, if I ever find out who it is, that nigga's stiff definitely gonna get it. And she knows that the nigga that the cause the nigga that did it to her mm-hmm. is friends with her boyfriend's friend Mm -hmm. and her boyfriend's friend is not giving up this nigga's name nothing to save his life to save his life my whole point of all this i'm not trying to get too deep into it because like i said it's still some shit going on niggas still asking questions about the the third do know that if you are around me and you saying you love black women you care about black women you niggas need to stand on that shit all the time and little yada you needed you should have let that girl speak that shit and get that shit off as a nigga who I would hope that you love and care about black women because your mama is one. <laughs> like, if you got a sister, she's one probably. If you got aunties, uncle, uh, aunties, a and, daughter, and, and a daughter, they are black women, right? Like, I would hope that you give a fuck about black women enough so that you would let them get their shit off. And that's why I'm kind of looking at him sideways now because yeah. I'm just like, bro, I would have let her say that shit full wholeheartedly and let the whole tape get out however the fuck it could go, mm-hmm. whether or not it'd be good for my podcast or not because I care about black women that much. Mm-hmm. If you love and care about black women, don't be playing about it because mm-hmm. I'm not going to play about it. And if we got to go Toe-to-toe. do something to somebody and you not riding, I'm punching you and your shit before I go. Well, we have a listener letter. <laughs> that we're going to get to. Um <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i hope you're doing well i'm just gonna keep this as short as i possibly can um so basically i'm in a space now in my life where because i used to be such a giving person and i used to be so there for everyone and readily available and easily accessible because i've been taken advantage of i feel like by a lot of people And I've run out of the energy to keep doing that. I'm now in a space where I have to learn to love myself and be there for myself and understand myself and direct all that energy towards myself. But what I feel like everyone who's giving me advice on, you know, you know, you need to love yourself, blah, blah, blah. I feel like what everyone is not talking about is how to go about doing that, how to go about initiating that journey of self rediscovery you know and finding yourself and finding what you like or what you don't like and all this other crazy stuff i feel like what people don't talk about is how hard it is and how to go about beginning that journey of setting boundaries that are healthy for you and are there to protect you from people who will come into your life to use you for the kind of love and energy that you give when you used to be such an open, I want to say an open book, but when you used to be so readily available, how to not be that in the healthiest way, you know what I'm saying? It's, I find it hard to love myself the way I'm supposed to, because I'm so used to giving this energy outward and I don't know how to redirect and receive this energy in such a way that I feel like I'm not being too selfish, even though that's what I'm supposed to be you know so i don't know man i just wanted to know how would you navigate that i guess 
I love how articulate he is. I know. That was Osula Fetzwe. Um, His voice. I want him to read me books. I know. <laughs> well, you got some audio books, my nigga? Or do you, <laughs> do you read audio books, my nigga? How do you navigate being more... Selfish. Selfish when people are used to you being this open ass, like, always available ass nigga. Yeah. I'm very good at setting boundaries. It's actually one of my best qualities. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, yeah, you have to start with how you set boundaries for yourself, which is, oh my Mm -hmm. God, my ears are ringing. Who the fuck is talking about me? When your ears are ringing, someone's supposed to be talking about you. You are. I hope they're subscribing to our OnlyFans. (laughs) I hope that's what they're talking about. Me too. Yeah. Anyway, boundaries. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So I need to set a boundary with my own fucking thoughts. Let me finish. Like (laughs) Honestly, same. um, Yeah, when, when you set boundaries, I think a lot of people think like, oh, it's this big dramatic thing. Like, how do I cut someone off? How do mm-hmm. I do this thing? And I'm mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. what? You just don't be available. I mean, we've both had this with people where it's like people are constantly asking you for advice and doing all these things, but they're like, it's so draining. And like, they don't listen to the advice anyway. So they're just going to ask you the same thing again in a week. Mm-hmm. But like, sometimes you have to be a little mean um, and just be like, like, well, that's how I am. <laughs> like, if you, yeah, ask, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you ask me for advice or you need me for something and I help you, and then, like, even a month later, we're back at the same thing again. How I respond every single time is, do you want me to just screenshot and scroll up, like, in the text thread, mm-hmm. like, when we already had this conversation? Mm-hmm. Because now, they're never going to ask me again. Mm-mm. And that's so good for me. <laughs> um, but a nicer way would to just be giving, like, shallow answers, like, of a, like, you got this. Like, honestly, like, it sounds, you got this. It sounds really horrible. Uh-huh. But to just, like be supportive but give nothing just give the thumbs up emoji no 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 <laughs> like if someone's like um i'm having problems with like a boyfriend and blah blah blah, blah. be like oh, well you always figure it out you know what i mean <laughs> it's not nice no it's not nice but they won't ask you again i'm dead serious uh-huh. if you give them too much they're gonna come back because one thing about takers is if you give them something they're gonna take it every single time give them nothing then there's nothing left to take okay i'm sure you'll take it a lot and it, you take this deep um mm-hmm. and if you <laughs> That's how you do listen to it. Um, <laughs> if you want to like distance yourself from people, mm-hmm. just like don't be available. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, he's like, oh, like I give so much like in friendships and relationships, whatever. Mm-hmm. If people who drain you constantly want to hang out with you or be around you, don't make something up. Hello. We used to blame it on our parents and be like, oh, oh my God, when I, somebody would call and they'd be like, do you want to hang out tonight? And I, I'd like hold the fucking phone and be like say no like mm-hmm. I, I blame it on my parents hello there's always a reason to like not be around mm-hmm. don't doesn't have to be this big magic thing just <laughs> just don't be available and people mm-hmm. will forget about you and mm-hmm. that's good that's my advice on how to distance mm-hmm. do you have input on how to yeah um mine is a more uh Gentle approach not even gentle i just feel like as we especially like as i'm getting older and like oh beach I, yeah, I'm 30. I'm about to be a, I'm an old ass nigga now. In my, in, at my big age, <laughs> I'm at a place in my life right now to where I feel like if I don't want to do something, I'm just not going to do it. And I also got to the place to where I just don't lie about it. Right. So like, there's been a gang of times where I told. Oh, yeah. Like, I just don't want to go. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just, like, do you want to go? I'm like, no. They're like, why not? You should go. I'm like, because I just don't want to go. Yeah. Or I made plans to go do something. And then, like, three days before, I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to do it no more. Like, I'm just not feeling it. I don't really like. So I think that, like, you said you don't. I think he said something when I was like, he don't want to be selfish. The part where you miss me in that is that in order for you to not be the thing that you don't want to be, you have to be selfish. Yeah. Like, you got to prioritize your what you want what you don't want and shit mm-hmm. like that above everybody else that don't necessarily mean do no crazy shit like fucking send a, a fucking you got this text message um, so nice. but it could just be like if people are always reaching out to you to like ask you for your advice or some shit like that just you know tell it to them but like don't engage more yeah. than like just giving them the advice like somebody be like yeah i feel like blah, blah, blah. Just be like yeah you know i just think that like you could probably do this or do that, like blah, blah, blah. But then that just be the end of it. And like, don't always respond. Like, if a motherfucker come to you all the time with some shit and they always expect you to respond, like, you don't have to respond. Like, if, if, or some, respond later. Like, yeah. like, do it. Like, you can still <gasps> oh, be. Oh, yes. Never be available when they need you. No. Like, you can because still be trapped. a help, like a helpful person and like be the friend that 
you've always been to people without like being a pushover nigga like Mm -hmm. if you don't want to answer a motherfucker when they text you bitch you don't have to fucking answer them and if you want to answer them at nine o'clock when they text you at two nigga you do that do you want this answer or not bitch you asked me for advice (laughs) and like and i said it before and i wholeheartedly mean it if somebody asks you advice and you give it to them and then later on down the line they come back with the same story no yeah now you're dumb yeah you're a dummy now Mm -hmm. look at you stupid Mm -hmm. because you can't give people the same advice twice that's not how this works Mm -hmm. okay because now you're just a sounding board Uh -uh. Mm uh-uh time to be fucking motherfucker i got you got i'm gonna talk about i'll send you a thumbs up gift i'm gonna talk about a subject one time yeah and then the next time I see you, if you b- b- move past that and it's still in the lines of it, I help you out. But like, if you come to me and say my nigga cheated on me, I don't know what to do. And I say leave him. And then two weeks later, you like oh, my nigga cheated on me again. I'm be like, and what the fuck you want me to do about that? <laughs> One thing that I do, which is really helpful, but again, it's very forward, is like when they ask for advice. At the end of my advice, I say, and don't bring this up to me again. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to talk about this again. Mm-hmm. Like you heard, you got my advice. This is how I feel, and I'm yeah. going to tell you it the next time too. So mm-hmm. yeah, but I'm quick mean. to tell a motherfucker like, I, didn't we discuss this before? Why yeah. is we doing this again? Scroll up. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah i just think that you like you don't want to be you don't want to come off as selfish but like i think that you have to be mm-hmm. like and in order to, and you, to do that you just prioritize yourself and like yeah how you feel and how you want to go about shit like, and as far as like self-discovery and stuff it really is just trial and error like you have to just think of things yeah, yeah. I, I was in that and a low-key still am but like where i don't know what i like to do i really don't know like i've always been the helpful person like i've always tried to help people and do whatever and blah 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 blah. and then i sat back and was like hold on i don't know what i like to do i don't know what i like to do for fun Mm -hmm. i don't all i know is i like to cook like i literally don't know outside of that like what i enjoy doing and the only way is to like make a list every activity that could exist like i'm not kidding like fuck right canoeing making pottery right anything like google it honestly Mm -hmm. like if you google Mm -hmm. like shit to do it'll be like bitch here's in the summer spring what do you want (laughs) winter activities okay (laughs) write things down that like i don't know uh spark something in you and then just do them and Mm -hmm. if the worst that happens is you go damn i hated that and then you don't do it again that's honestly the best way self-discovery you know just figure it out yeah you're not just gonna wake up and be like i love tennis (laughs) (laughs) Huh? no you have to go and do an activity or do a thing whatever trial and error that's honestly the best way to discover yeah don't waste your breath that's why that is that saying exists i'm not wasting my breath on them is because every time look at me every time i talk bitch mm-hmm. also if that's way if you fucking dm me this okay in a month talking about how to be selfish bitch you wasted my fucking breath bitch so you know what you need to do mm-hmm. actually let me tell you what you need to do mm-hmm. also low mm-hmm. <laughs> asking for advice i'm yelling at him as you need to listen the whole name, the whole name was also Fetzway as well it's like it's just yeah. one was one word not two yeah not no i also know Fe- also mr Fetzway. <laughs> i know it's mr. not Fetzway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway also the Fetzway. uh-huh um you just genuinely need to like make a list of things and really take charge of your life watch it's been fucking four months since he put this out this bitch has got his life together he probably was like nigga oh y'all still talking about it <laughs> yeah but i just think it's really important because at the end of the day like you are the only person you have okay mm-hmm. these friends these individuals they don't pay your bills and even if they do <laughs> because no because some people think that you could be in friendships and relationships and sugar daddy ships and parent ships where people hold things over you mm-hmm. and they get to make decisions for you nah, no no it ain't how that work, bro. No. It ain't how that work. No. Prioritize yourself. How to do it? Like I said. Bingo. Well, that's been the Amazon's podcast. If you have... Please give a listener letter. We'll, we'll yell at you again. Yeah. If you want to bring right in, type in, talk in your listener letter, go to the Amazon's. The Amazon's. The Amazon's on Instagram. Send your little voice note or type in your shit and we'll read it or, or put it on the screen so we can see your face on the screen while you talking and then we gonna give you some advice is it gonna be bullshit maybe but you still gonna ask him so we gonna tell you yeah do you got a dog that keep eating your grilled cheese sandwiches every time you cook them bitches and you go to the room to go pee real quick and then when you come back your, your whole fucking sandwich is gone and he's sitting there burping up cheese dip bitch tell us about it and then we'll give you advice on how to tell your dog to get the fuck on somewhere did you walk in and your granny was fucking on your baby daddy <gasps> 
You smacking the smacking the dust off her pussy. <laughs> you didn't know what to do about it. <laughs> Write in about it, and we'll give you advice on how to tell that bitch to get her shit on, uh, get her shit to, to, to get the fuck on somewhere. That is so crazy. Swift her, sweep her ass out of here, <laughs> bitch. Swift her out the fuck and put her ass in the motherfucking retirement home. Gotta retire that pussy. Mm. Okay. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. Thank you for today. Bye. Bye. <laughs>